Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends, and today I have some very good news. CAF has made good on their promise to update their new Gen 2 camera, the CAF Viasense, with new firmware that gives us a few major improvements. The one I'm most excited about is now this camera is truly 8K resolution in both photos and videos, and we have several uh, resolutions to select from in both photos and videos. And I haven't got to test any of this out, I just found out that this update was available and updated my camera and confirm that these options do exist. The next thing that, in my opinion, that is definitely the next biggest thing is that we have several different shooting modes. And what I mean by that is uh, you don't have any manual control over white balance, but you do have settings now that you can choose like bright sunny outdoors, you know, shady outdoors, bright indoors, dim indoors, things like that. And uh, as I experiment with these and I get some more videos and photos taken, I will be uploading them to my DOVR uh, channel. And I'll put a link to that in the description in case you'd like to check out some of the work I've already posted up there. I'm still very new there, but I am posting uh, work as I get it uh, recorded and edited. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to update your camera. Once you update it, it's going to be important to, you have to reinitialize your camera. So you have to go back and fill everything out, choose your time zone, your language, things like that, <clears throat> and also sign back in. But I'm, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to try this out. I'm really glad that they did this. They, they waited right down to the wire. They said it would be by the end of October, and today is the end of October. And so I'm glad that they did uh, make make good on their promise and get that update out there. I can now, if you know, I can now definitely recommend this camera, even before I look at the results, because with that workflow video that I posted, I don't know if you got to see that. If you did, you might want to check that out. That workflow still might be relevant to people who don't have Adobe Premiere and want to edit their images and videos, and maybe concatenate different clips and then post them out on DOVR. Uh, but I, I would recommend this camera now. They've they've made good on their promise. I don't like that it took them a while to do that and that they did it through firmware after the fact um, but still they, they made good on their promise and uh, I think now for the price point this is probably a decent camera to buy especially since there really isn't any other options out there at this resolution at this price point for VR 180 but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at how to update your camera so you can get started experimenting with these new settings as well with your camera on swipe down from the top of the screen next swipe up in the menu on the left then tap about just under storage, you'll see two buttons, check update and initialize device. Tap check update and follow the instructions. But remember, after the update installs, you'll need to come back to this screen and select initialize device. After you've installed the update and reinitialized your camera, you can tap photo on the right of the screen. Then press the menu button on the camera to bring up relevant settings. As you can see, we now have an environment drop down menu. If I tap that, I see I have the options of selecting sunny outdoors, cloudy outdoors, dim indoors, or bright indoors. This should help to get the white balance right in camera, which will be a big help if it works correctly. If I swipe up a bit more, I see that I can now select different resolutions as well, including 4K through 8K. I'll select 8K and save my settings. Next I'll tap Video. And here I see that I have the environment drop down menu, as well as the same ability to choose which resolution I want to shoot at. I'll select 8K here as well. But I also see I have a few different frame rates I can choose from, 24, 30, 50, and 60. If I select 60 frames per second, notice that my resolution gets reset to 4K. And if I try to select a different resolution, nothing happens. If I reset my frame rate to 30 FPS, I can then reselect 8K as my resolution. I'm going to experiment shooting in 7K at 50 frames per second since that might be an optimal setting for recording people and other subjects in motion, for this camera at least. I'll keep you posted on how that turns out and upload sample videos to my DOVR channel. Speaking of DOVR, I've been using that platform and really enjoying it for immersive content. I find it to be way more useful than YouTube for VR 180 and 360 videos and photos. But part of this firmware update is supposed to make video compatible with YouTube right out of the camera. I'm definitely going to look into that and I'll give you my thoughts on it when I do. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and if you found this video useful at all, please consider liking and subscribing. Take care.